such as drinking water, salt, oil and gas, and nuclear waste storage have to do with this oil well being drilled behind me. All of these resources can be found in the Paleozoic bedrock in Ontario, and without the data from this well, it would be extremely difficult to do any mapping of the subsurface. Oil wells like this have been dug and drilled in Ontario since 1858 and provide vital geological information in order for us to do mapping. With over 160 years of drilling history, we have collected 27,000 well points with lots of data that geologists use in order to correlate and connect these points to create a subsurface map of Ontario. Let's go down this well and take a look. You are now walking across the bedrock surface in Kent County towards the northeast and Toronto. The surficial sediments have been removed in this scene and the colored bands are layers of sedimentary rock of different ages. These layers are called formations by geologists. A sudden change in bedrock elevation occurs at the Niagara Escarpment where the hard Silurian limestones in tan color form the escarpment cap rock and are underlain by softer, easily eroded shales of the Ordovician time period in purple. Looking north from over Lake Erie, the model highlights the different ages of the bedrock. The ancient Precambrian rocks of the Canadian Shield at the base, colored in pink, are overlain by younger, sedimentary rock formations. Formation thicknesses are derived from petroleum well data. Shallow borings and other measurements help out near surface. The sedimentary rock formations are categorized by age into geologic periods. Here we see the sedimentary rock of the Devonian, Silurian, or Division, and Cambrian. Turn counterclockwise to see an exploded view of the model. Devonian H rocks have been mostly colored green in the model and are the youngest bedrocks in Ontario dating from 360 to 419 million years old. The first commercial oil production in Ontario was from these rocks. Silurian age rocks are yellow and bright pink in the model and range in age from 420 to 444 million years old. These rocks host aquifers that supply groundwater. Ordovician age rocks have a dark color in the model and range in age from 445 to 485 million years old. These rocks are observed at surface east of the Niagara Escarpment. Cambrian rocks are colored light purple and can be 486 to possibly 540 million years old. They sit on the light pink rocks of the Canadian Shield that are over a billion years old. A primary purpose of the model is to explore groundwater aquifers and groundwater flow. Rocks of the Lockport group are an important freshwater aquifer for the cities of Cambridge and Guelph. Let's remove the Lockport group from the model and fly between the bedrock layers into the remaining cavern as if we were a drop of water. You are skimming over the Ordovician rocks beneath Toronto, heading west to Guelph. You will ascend over 100 meters in elevation across the Niagara Escarpment. Entering the open space formed by removing the Lockport group, you are 150 meters below ground level, and the Lockport has a thickness of 100 meters. Flying westward and deeper, the lockport thins to 30 meters. You are now 550 meters below surface. Let's explore the subsurface of the Devonian units by removing a bedrock core of 30 kilometers in diameter to see what we can find below the shallow freshwater aquifers at the top of the bedrock in Lambton County. The glowing green shape in the center of the cylinder is the first oil pool discovered in Ontario. The oil springs pool was discovered in 1858 at the bottom of a hand-dug well. Subsequent drilling intercepted more oil at about 100 meters depth that has produced for over 160 years. From inside the borehole you can observe abrupt vertical changes in the rock formations in front and to your left. These are faults cut by the core. Let's look deep into the subsurface again. This is the top of the Lockport group at a depth of about 550 meters. These are the same rocks we saw at the end of the deep flight underground. The towers are pinnacle reefs that occur beneath Lambton County. They were originally exploited for natural gas and are now used as natural gas storage. We started our journey in Kent County near Chatham and we exit here in the core warehouse surrounded by our source data 
including these rocks of the Lockport Formation. These rocks are an important freshwater aquifer near surface and a vital natural gas storage hub in the subsurface. Hopefully this gives you a glimpse into the importance of mapping and modeling the subsurface of Ontario for better understanding, protecting, and managing our natural resources.